Hi guys, it's Toffee Dog and this is the Shrike update for April. April has been a very busy week for me collecting Shrike. It was totally different to March where I barely got any. I remember showing you just one. But this one's totally different. Decided to buy not as many as I could but centre my spending around that. Now I apologise in advance, I am chewing gum so if you do hear any weird noises then unfortunately that's me because I love gum. <laughs> okay, let's start with the shirt up there. Now, the first two models I'm going to show are ones that you might have seen in my vlog yesterday. I did give a bit of warning if you wanted to leave. I only see them now. But I, saw, I thought I'd show them first because you might have seen them already. So, now we're going to start with this figure here. I know it's not a pure shirt model, it's Baylor. I know I probably said that name wrong, but this is the figure in the set. Now this uh, figure has a lot of little details, all very well painted. And that's what he looks like. And I believe he's holding a boomerang. We've got a little belt here and some little fangs. Now he came with the model I'm going to show after. But I will admit, even now when I have him, the combination of the two because, put the camera down now, the combination of the two are, I suppose, trying to represent each other, seeing the other set similar to this. But I feel like with this human figure, in some ways I can see they're trying to link the two together by these tooths and little details like that, tusks on his outfit. But apart from that, and uh, maybe the colour scheme as well, because he's mostly wearing dark browns and greys, blacks like the warthog. I feel like if I was to look at him, and if I paired him up with something else, I think I would actually pair him up with a big cat rather than a warthog. I might be wrong. But I, I said the one thing I look into, the one reason I collect shite models is for little details and this definitely is the standard that I look for. Beautifully painted this model, I can't, this figure, model figure. <gasps> Got just, see just a lovely amount of detail shading. Are slightly bigger than some of the others, so if I can try and find. Um, this is the riding instructor, so he's taller, much taller. So the height difference and the proportions are slightly different, but that's okay. So I'm going to put him to the side, let's stay here. And our next one, as I mentioned before, is the Warthog. He came with this set. I might be wrong, but he, I do believe he's a Shrike Warthog. I don't think they've changed anything, but I've never owned a Shrike Mall Warthog before. But I do like him. He is lovely. I like the sort of um, texture I've got going here. The only, or well not the only complaint, some of the complaints I have is very minor details. Like you see his tusks here. They're also supposed to be two sets of tusks but they just look like one massive tusk because the shading in between them you can't really see but it's just a very small nitpick I'm not over keen on. 
Uh, the hoofs at the bottom are completely grey, there's no shading, but again I can't really complain. And hairs are getting all over him, that's not part of the go. Definitely a boy. So I've got the boy walk hog here. This is... I do apologise, that's my brother in the background. I love this sort of hair. What I would have liked to see, I might be wrong, I would have liked to see a few strands come off the end here because no way would an uh, animal's hair be as straight. I might be wrong, but just maybe a few little strands there. So overall good model. Um, in some small parts lacking detail and paint, but because they're small errors it's understandable or you, you can't make everything super detailed and shaded. And then we have similar situation with the hair. But that's okay. Um, this set would have normally costed me twelve pounds, but I got it for seven. And honestly, I won't pay twelve pounds for it just because, unlike the riding sets where you get the tack, you get the horse and the rider. Uh, the riding, the rider and the tack would usually cost you eight pounds. The horse five fifty, depending on its size. So I like the riding set. I don't think it's worth twelve pounds, but I would pay uh, eight for it. But overall, good set. Maybe um, it's not too clear at first glance that these two are supposed to go together. But yeah, so this is just on two. Um, right, let's yeah, let's tackle the other one. Um, the other model I got alongside these two was a little one. It's three pound one. Uh, strike clam. I love sort of like the. I I don't know how to put it. I like because most of the models I get are quite dark coloured, and it's nice to have sort of a refreshing white. And I love this green colour. The details, even on the little heads, on the belly. I still need to take the label off that little tongue look at it and even though the eyes are completely black I don't think that really takes away from the look and even it's little bit there I really like this one it's definitely worth three pounds because it's one of the smallest ones so don't pay any more just pay three pounds. Um, one thing I want to address is my shop is a bit broken with the price system. You will get some sh um, shite foals, like I'll show you another one who would be priced at the same price as a bigger foal, but that will be clearer when I show foals. But I haven't named her yet or him. It's him or her. So I'm going to leave that up to you guys. Hopefully, you'll get back to me, please. No, I uh, don't worry, I'm not desperate. Uh, just give me some ideas. Barbara and M are taken. Those are the names of my two sheep I do own. So just clear that. So those are the three we got yesterday. Now, uh, let me see. I'm going to show... The next one I'm going to show is one you might have seen on my vlogs again. I tried to hide him with my hand, but if you caught him, that's the reason I'm showing him now. Here we are. And this is the Tennessee Walker... Um, gelding. And it's a gelding, it's not a gelding. I might be wrong on that one. Oh gosh, I'm rubbish with horse terms. But it's a boy. He, um, the one issue, it wasn't an issue, but the one with our shop, um, they all had some form of scratches on them. And ironically, he was the best one. So he got picked, and I like his design. He looks a lot like the retired one. Oh gosh! No, I'm not going to be be able to get her out, but I'm sure I can edit a photo in like I did with yesterday's vlog. He definitely looks like a younger version of the retired one, which I really like. I enjoy how they've linked together. And um, you've got his socks. They're not blended in to the to white parts that well but again at the way look that's a bit better from 
So as I was saying, front wires from black into white isn't faded like they did with the just going to call it ginger. I know that I know that's not the proper term. I shall find out. He's the US one. He came this year, so he's this 2016 model. I love his tail and his mane. That is my main issue with him. His mane look, just look, oh, it's driving me nuts. It's all over the place. Um, I like manes that are um. <sighs> I'm not neat. I don't. I'm not okay on the platinum mane, but I much prefer it to a really thin, all over the place blur. And I know he's just a foal, but little tails like that, or they might be normal sized tails, but those sort of ones. Just, I don't know why they. <laughs> so I really, I do like him. I'm just not the tail. I can sort of not excuse. It's the main. It's the main that does take it away from me, and then yeah, you can see it's a boy. Her hoofs are nicely painted. So he's not one of my favourite foals, but I do love this sort of colour scheme. That's why Tigger, the retired Tennessee Walker Stallion, is one of my favourites because I love this colour. I love it. So I decided to show him next because I tried to cover him up with my hand when I had him here on the vlog I don't know whether that works well now I've had to lift up the camera because he's these guys are slightly bigger right let's move on and let's okay right who shall we move on to next let's oh yeah one big thing we forgot to tell about him sorry his name is Victor um Victor I like that name he's a He's successful, he's Victor. Right, next one we're going to move on to was like the sheep. A bit of an impulsive buy just to use up the £3. But I am glad I got this one. It's got, we got, yeah, I got the fox cub. Very small, so I just have to find my fingers. She's got a bit of a scratch on her nose already. Don't know if you can see it. But, oh, I love her. I know for such a small figure, it's hard to get details in, which I understand. Um, which is why maybe I'm not as harsh with them. But I love the little detail, wait. Little detail on her eyes. Uh, the whites in her ears, I'm not too keen about. I love her overall... Again, it's nothing special, but I just think it's for a small model mould. Keep on saying model when I mean mould. And uh, one thing that I don't know if this has happened with you, but she's got white underneath the underside of her tail. I understand they might try and make it a bit whiter for her underside, like it is here. But it's way too. Um, it's way too bold for what Shite do because they they blend everything together, natural colours, and this just seems a bit out of place. Pause, a lovely little pause. I don't have to check her across the room. Apart from that, yeah, pretty cool. I made her a girl. Her name is Primrose because one of my dad's friend's son had a baby girl called Primrose, and we found out yesterday we got her. So, or oh, I'm going to call her Pri for short and I really want to use her in a slight movie because she just has wonderful expression she might be a bit hard to control because of her size but I'm really considering using her not in the beauty series because that's all horses um yeah so she's primrose prim 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 primrose okay right let's move on to so we've got two foals left these are mostly baby animals um or all of them, apart from the first two. Okay, you do, I think this is one of the first ones I got this month. So here we have the Mustang. Yeah, no gender on that one, but I've decided to make him a boy again. And here's the Mustang foal. 
Unfortunately, poor Storm, the retired one, he finally got retired, never got a family, but we've got a full family now. I still need to get the stallion, but I will do that another time because I, I've, I'll explain after I've shown this one. Just give it a little 360 view. Again, few scratches, but nothing big. Now, my honest opinion on him, I really like him. And I know I, I have a lot of positive things to say about all my models, but honestly, I just love it. Because the big part for Shike is I love when they do the blending correctly. And here I feel like they've done it from the brown into the very lighter brown into a bit of white and back into there. I feel they've done a beautiful job with it all the way around. And even on the back you've got a darker brown. And this is, this is the sort of mane I like. It's a bit all over the place but it's not too much of it but it's neat I'm like you dude his face lovely lovely details I would have liked to see more detail in his eyes because obviously he has quite a dark colour scheme to begin with maybe I don't know I don't think they could have done it but if they could just make maybe a, some I don't think you can do a lighter black, but I know what I mean. I know what I mean. Oh my gosh, I do. I do, okay? Give me a break. Okay. And his tail, the underside, uh, nicely blended in again, which is the pro slight problem I had with the fox was I felt like the tail wasn't blended in enough, but this is a nice blend. He's going to hit the camera as well. His hooves are beautiful. I adore them. I mean, such detail in little parts. And that's my brother. He sounds like he's making a horse noise. <laughs> right, see. So he is one of my favourites. And I can't remember if I mentioned it at the beginning. But I decided to call him Hunter. Because he's quite a dark horse, I see him as being quite a manly horse. Um, because he's a Mustang as well. I see him as being quite a tough not in a boastful way, but a quite resilient horse, so that's why I named him Hunter. And the final one we've got is, um, unfortunately I haven't gotten, this is a foal, I haven't gotten the mum or dad. But we've got a little Shetland here. And the ones I've got are retired, this is the Shetland foal, and oh my gosh. It is adorable. I mean, it's a one coloured thing. It's literally just same brown, same brown, main tail, hoofs are just grey. There's not that much detail. You've got some you've got some detail around the face area. But I think it's just the sheer cuteness of this that sells it for me. Not the detail, not the sort of a simple colour scheme which is I usually dislike but just a, just the adorableness of it I'm sorry I try not to act too girly because I'm not really a girly person but my mind is just going oh look at her and I made her a her again hold on I swore one of these ones had was a boy or was definitely made a boy maybe it's maybe I'm thinking of another model but I've decided to name her Muffin. I was going to name her Muffy. After Muffy from... Uh, the donkey from the old TV show. Or Muffy from Arthur, which I used to watch as a kid. But I think Muffin is so much sweeter. And because she's so small and she's a little bit plump. Muffy. Okay, let's get... Let's focus again. Because I'm just going to keep on calling her cute. And that's going to be my only analysis. I like this mould, when I first saw her she was bigger than what I thought a Shetland foal would be. I do like her mould but the 
proportions from her mold into the adults mold I feel like the adults are too chunky I also feel like the adults could be a bit bigger even though they're supposed to be like small horses like miniature horses but I think we'll cross that road once I get the adults and I'll explain a bit more but I think that it's not because of her but because I've seen the adults I'm just trying to think is it a problem with the adults mold or is it a problem with the foals mold I think that's what's holding me back but I do like how they've put in some detail they haven't just left it one colour palette I think there's some looks like there's some shading here but this is the April lot uh, we're coming into May I have no idea May's going to be busy with exams but we should be able to cut some more models and look at them all <laughs> Primrose is just facing the other way so that is the Shike update I really hope that you've enjoyed it and I'm so glad I've got quite a few models to show you guys and don't forget help me name her him and him just leave it in the comment section below what I should call them and I'll take any name suggestions as long as they're sensible Motor, please. No, no jokes. Okay, put my eyes like that. All right, guys. So thank you for watching, and this is Toffee Dog signing off for the April Shy Cup date.